Today we're talking about the field grading step of our annual viticultural cycle. Field grading is an important part of what we do because it allows us to verify the farming we do throughout the year to see if we've achieved what we plan to. Our field grading exercise involves both a viticultural representative and a winemaker and it's conducted in a, a window of three to seven days before harvest. Really the optimum ripeness and maturity of those vines while we're out there. The actual field grade exercise is a series of parameters that we have determined are important in quality and at both the vineyard level. So we look at the vineyard, the vineyard health, the block as a whole is their variability in the, the vigor of the vines across the block. How's the color of the fruit? What is the concentration of the flavors? Are the tannins uh, apparent? Is the acid balanced to our uh, sugar levels? And all of these parameters help drive a grade that we apply to the block in the first instance. We look at the balance of the canopy vigor to the actual fruit load. And we have several attributes. Is it balanced? Is it overcropped or is it undercropped? And looking at this demonstration vine here, we're seeing nice balance between our canopy and our fruiting zone. The fruit's well dispersed, getting good exposure, but not too much exposure. So this would be balanced. Our canopy assessment, are we seeing variable growth? Is it high vigour, low vigour? Is it optimum light? As there's no sunburn, we're getting nice even ripening, colours even across the bunch. This would be optimum uh, light infiltration. We have some leaves protecting the fruit from the um, sun exposure. Fruit assessment. This fruit is very sound. There's no disease pressure. The bunches are loose. We're seeing a good spread of fruit. Um, we're not seeing any second crop on the vine. We're not seeing any raisining or desiccation. So this is very sound fruit. Our berry condition. So how is the, the, the fruit, the berries, in its process of ripening? These are just starting to soften. Then on that process of, of ripening, they're getting very close. We're not seeing any desiccation or shriveling. So we're seeing some movement as we squeeze the berries, so really sitting in that softening category. Berry size is an important component, particularly in red fruit. We are looking to achieve smaller berries so that we have a higher skin to juice ratio. So these berries fit in the small to medium category. Small is less than 10 millimetres, medium is 10 to 13 millimetres, and then large is greater than 13 millimetres. So to assess potential colour, we need to take a sample of fruit from different bunches and actually macerate them and spit out a stream of juice to look at the potential colour that you would expect extraction from the skins, the anthocyanins. We saw a nice stream of dark red juice, as you'd expect with these Cabernet uh, berries. They're nice, small, intense, they've got very thick skins, and as you macerate them, it extracts that anthocyanin. In. So we have high colour. Our flavours, as I was uh, macerating those berries, I had a nice um, profile of blueberry and blackberry fruits, which is what we're looking for. We're not looking for, to going to that. Uh, extreme extraction of stewed fruits or raisining. So we're seeing very fresh flavours in here. We're seeing a balance of our acid to sugar ratio, so we're not seeing too much acidity or not too much sugar. And then the last profile of the berry themselves is the tannins and phenolics. Are they present to start? Are they soft or are they astringent? Are they rounded? And we actually, as you chew the skins you, you can feel that coating within the mouth. Um, there's a resistance of the tongue over the roof of the mouth as tannins are, a, are present. As I chewed this fruit I could really feel a fullness of the tannins. They weren't astringent, they weren't that mouth puckering, um, breathtaking astringency. They were very very rounded but very full bodied so they'd fit under the, the rounded, um, full bodied, tannins that we were looking for in a high-end Cabernet. 
the last step of the process is looking at seeds and seeds give us the final indication of maturity. As we extract the seeds from the berries we're looking at colour, seed hardness and also flavour. So as I look at these berries, uh, these seeds themselves they fall into the light brown uh, category. As I chew them they crack with a real crunch so they're quite hard and they give a toasted flavour. So these are very well on the way to maturity. We have a range of grades, the lowest being E grade, the highest being A grade, and they're divided into our premium and luxury char characteristics. It goes E, D, C, B2, B1, A3, A2, A1. This fruit, given its flavour intensity, its rounded tannin profile, its good colour extraction would definitely sit in the high B camp, low A3. In a couple more days it's not quite ready yet but I would expect it to be an A3 grade at the end of the day. And that's the grading process.